20 million people around the world need wheelchairs, but actually 98% don't have them. Hundreds of Iraqis who have lost their mobility have recently regained it, though, through a unique wheelchair developed in the Bay Area, but tough enough for the conditions in developing countries. We visited San Francisco State University, where engineers are spreading the freedom of mobility around the world. These wheels may be spinning, but they're certainly not spinning their wheels in this lab at San Francisco State University. Students and teachers here are transforming lives in the developing world one spoke at a time. People need a chair that they can go over unpaved roads a considerable distance every day to get to school, to get to work, to raise a family, to do what they have to do. Professor Ralph Hotchkiss became paralyzed in a motorcycle accident more than three decades ago. A chair he created for himself evolved into Whirlwind, a line of wheels tough enough for developing countries. Hotchkiss and his team of engineers put each design through the roughest of conditions in the lab and on the rocky shores around San Francisco Bay. They have to, to ensure these chairs will travel in countries like Mexico, Vietnam, Nicaragua, South Africa, and Iraq. We're working with the people in each one of those countries to design chairs that are just as strong as possible. Strong is key because these chairs are used overseas on unpaved roads, mud and sand, places with no bus lifts, sidewalks or handicap ramps. In addition, Hotchkiss knows the wheelchairs need to be affordable. They use simple, locally produced parts made stronger through clever engineering, such as a long wheelbase and wide, solid rubber front caster wheels and mountain biking rear tires. You can take this chair to any good blacksmith, any good bicycle repair person, almost anywhere in the world, any even small village, and they can remake any part of the chair. It's simple enough. The San Francisco State team has now taught small shops in 45 countries how to produce different models of whirlwind chairs. Recently, hundreds of the latest model, the Rough Rider, were given out to Iraqis for free, thanks to money raised by Hotchkiss Foundation, Whirlwind Wheelchair International. We hope that enough people will become builders of this chair that it will be available in, in almost every developing country. In San Francisco, Kristen Z, ABC7 News. And that's me. Hotchkiss has started a foundation, Whirlwind Wheelchair International, to help buy these chairs for people who need them. If you'd like to help or find out more, just go to our website, abc7news.com. For a link to their site. So the first thing he did was run out and get a patent for that, right? No, actually, you would think, but he didn't because he would love it if everybody would take his idea and replicate them in factories around the world so more people can get access to these chairs that are so sturdy and hardy and can withstand all the conditions.